Naflio is the most romantic city in Greece, located in the Peloponnese region. It was the first capital of Greece, and it is located a short distance from Athens. You can use Naflio as your base in order to explore the east part of the Peloponnese, as there are a lot of things to do and see around. In the city, you can explore the old town of Naflio with the cobblestone streets and the Venetian style buildings. It will remind you a Greek island and the center of the old town is Syntagma Square. In addition, in Naflio, someone can find the Palamede Castle, the Borsi Fortress and the Akronaflia Castle. The Archaeological Museum and the War Museum are a must visit in the city. Arvanetia, Carathona, Tolo, Golden Beach, and St. Nicholas Beach are some of the most beautiful beaches to relax and enjoy sunbathing in the area. Close to Naflio, someone can find the archaeological sites of Epidaurus, Mycenae, and Tiryns, all of them located on a short distance drive from the city. Furthermore, the islands of Argolita are located close to Naflio and are ideal as a daily trip from Naflio. Spetses, Hydra, and Poros are within one hour drive from the city and are unique destinations definitely worth a visit. With its rooftops painted in shades of narrow streets paved with cobblestones and remarkable Venetian style architecture, Naplio is often hailed as one of the most beautiful old towns in the Peloponnese. The town's rich history dates back to times when it was founded by the figure Danaos. Naflio not offers a feast, but also tantalizes your senses. The alluring aroma of the sea, flavorsome delights from cuisine, and warm hospitality from locals combine to create an unforgettable experience for every visitor. Whether you are leisurely strolling along the waterfront promenade, or indulging in delicacies, or exploring enchanting streets, Naflio never fails to captivate hearts. The Palamidi Fortress that was built by the Venetians in the century is a must-see for history enthusiasts and adventure seekers alike. With its design and an ascent of 999 steps leading to its entrance, it leaves visitors in awe. During occupation, this fortress served as a prison where many captives, including Greek hero Kolokotronis, were held and faced execution at the hands of their captors. This area was the house of the executioners of Palamede prisoners. Borzi Castle is located on an islet in front of the main port of Naflion. Constructed by the Venetians during the century as a defense against Ottoman attacks, this fortification has witnessed changing tides of power over time. It has transitioned from being a residence to serving as a prison for those tasked with executing prisoners held at Palamede Fortress. Lastly, overseeing Naflio Old Town majestically stands the Akronaflia Castle. With its awe-inspiring views of the surrounding area, this fortress holds a captivating history that stretches back to times. Originally built by the Franks in the century, it was further fortified by the Ottomans during their reign. Today, Akronafia stands as a testament to the region's past. Serves as an ideal location for sightseeing and immersing oneself in the enchanting atmosphere of the city. Naflio proudly claims to be the first capital of Greece. After enduring centuries under Ottoman rule, Naflio played a role in the Greek War of Independence, which successfully fought for Greece's freedom from the Ottoman Empire. It was here in 1828 that the renowned battle occurred, leading to Naflio being established as the capital city. This significant moment marked the beginning of a chapter for Greece, signifying its independence and struggle for self-rule. The city's importance continued with the gathering of the first Greek parliament in Naflio, further cementing its status as a political center. Renowned for its old world charm and a romantic ambiance that captures hearts instantly, Naflio holds a heritage dating back to ancient times. Echoes of this past can still be felt in every weathered stone and architectural masterpiece scattered throughout its streets. With its crystal clear waters and awe-inspiring sunsets, Naflio presents an idyllic retreat for couples seeking an immersive romantic experience. 
Whether you're exploring its sights or savoring a candlelit dinner at one of its tavernas, there are countless opportunities to create cherished memories that will endure forever in this captivating and truly romantic town. When it comes to Greece's top coastlines, Nafleo stands out as a must-visit destination as well. With its crystal clear waters, the region boasts beaches like Arvanitia, Carathana, Tolo Golden Beach, Condili and Kantia. Arvanitia Beach is known for its breathtaking cliffs and natural charm. It is a well-organized beach located underneath Palamity Castle and within walking distance from the old city. It is the most popular beach even for the winter swimmers and offers amazing view to the Argolic Gulf. Carathona Beach on the other side offers vistas and a wide array of water sports activities. It is a long sandy beach located five minutes drive from Naplio and is very friendly for families with kids. Across the beach, someone can find a lot of sunbeds with umbrellas and coffee shops available that offer snacks as well. With ample of parking available and a very easy access, Carathona is the best available option for swimming in the summer close to Naflio. Tolo Golden Beach is renowned for its sands, making it an ideal spot to unwind and bask in the sun. Condili and Kantia beaches are located within a short drive from the city and definitely worth a visit as they are considered as the most clean beaches in the area. On the way there, someone can find a lot of tavernas available for lunch. The archaeological site of Mycenae is located only 20 minutes drive from Naflio. It is like a time machine that takes visitors back to the world of the civilization. This site is a true treasure trove of historical and mythological significance. The remains of this thriving city are proof of just how wealthy and powerful the Mycenaeans were during the Late Bronze Age. One famous feature at this site is the Agamemnon tomb, also known as the Treasury of Atreus. It's a preserved Tholos tomb that is believed to have been where the legendary Greek king Agamemnon was laid to rest. As visitors pass through the Lion Gate, which serves as the entrance to the citadel, they are welcomed by Grave Circle B, a circular burial ground surrounded by a massive stone wall. At the heart of Mycenae lies its citadel, perched on top and overlooking its surroundings. This strategic location served as both a governing and defensive point for those in power at Mycenae. Inside this citadel, visitors can explore ruins, including those belonging to a palace that once accommodated Mycenaean kings. Mycenae's strategic location allowed it to control trade routes connecting mainland Greece with regions. Do not miss the chance to visit the archaeological museum of the site that showcases findings from the area. The archaeological site of Epidaurus is located 20 minutes east of Naflio. This site that was dedicated to the gods of Apollo and Asclepius offers a glimpse into the world of ancient Greek culture and healing practices. Epidaurus was a prominent healing center in the ancient world, nestled in a serene natural setting on the slopes of Kynorshan Hill. Visitors to the site were seeking physical, emotional, and spiritual healing through various rituals and treatments. The healing practices at the sanctuary involved a combination of rituals, offerings, and spiritual guidance to promote physical and emotional well-being. The Theater of Epidaurus is one of the most well-preserved ancient theaters in Greece, known for its exceptional acoustics and architectural brilliance. This theater was a central hub for cultural and artistic performances in ancient times. It dates back to the 4th century BC and continues to amaze visitors with its grandeur and scale. The Archaeological Museum of Epidaurus houses a diverse collection of artifacts and exhibits that offer insights into ancient Greek culture and the history of the sanctuary. If you decide to visit Nephilio, we at Vita Hospitality will be more than happy to support you with the accommodation. We offer four apartments in downtown Nefaplio and another four, 800 meters away, that are more luxurious. We offer different plans depending on the duration of your stay. At our website, you can find options for short-term rentals, 
for weekly stays or even for monthly adjusted prices. For those of you who are looking for a place to spend a long period in Greece, you can check the long-term lease plans that you will find at our website's homepage. We are dedicated to support everyone who is interested in exploring the area. You can definitely consider us as your local friends who are willing to support you with anything you might need while you will be in Greece. Feel free to send us an email or even better text us via WhatsApp for the fastest reply. Either you are considering in staying for your summer vacation or looking to explore the possibility to relocate in the area, we can help you. A lot of our pervious guests finally bought their own house in Nafleo and moved in the area in order to spend some quality time in a warmer and sunny place. It's Peter and Bill, and you can find our contact details if you type Vita Hospitality Nafleo. We are looking forward to meet you.